And that is Bill 5891. Thank you, Chairman. You're welcome. Um, I put this bill in as part of a package that would reduce the pressure on municipalities to continuously raise property taxes. So it's part of the municipal spending reduction package. We all know that we want the car tax to go away. But just taking all the money from the state coffers basically takes it from our taxpayers' left pockets and puts it in the right pocket so we can pay it from the right pocket. We have to give municipalities uh, tools for them to control their spending, to actually keep it down. Um, if we don't do that, we can eliminate the car tax now, but it'll come back in the future the next time there's, a, there's another crisis in, in the country. We've heard from our, our colleague, uh, Representative Lancia, that 911 collects about $15 million a year. Of that, the, 9 the current 911 service only uses a third, or about $5 million of the, those, those dollars. That means there's about $10 million every year that's collected, but it doesn't go towards emergency communication services. At the municipal level, we have dispatch services that are uh, stuck in the past. And so I'm proposing to use the $10 million to buy what's known as CAD systems or computer-assisted dispatch. These are very technologically advanced systems that um, will provide better officer safety because the officers will get more information about the emergency um, before they, they depart and as they're en route. Because it's uh, electronic communications, they can actually get the information as they're driving. Um, and so when they arrive, they know what they're, they're facing um, and it keeps them safer. Um, it also establishes, because these CAD systems establish a log of all calls and then keeps a database. So if there is somebody who has been involved with the police before or might be um, involved with some other kind of disturbance or mental health issues, then our first responders would know about that because they have immediate access to a database that tells them um, that, that, that this has happened in the past and it prepares them for the present. It also can run instant background checks because it is a computer-assisted dispatch. So, um, so it protects our first responders. They know what they're facing when they arrive on scene. One of the other things, obviously, it does is because it's electronic and it's immediate, is it saves minutes. Um, we, I see you, Rep. Morin, over there. He's a firefighter, and he knows that minutes make a difference in people's lives when they're hurt. Um, so instead of now when we call 911, we get, we get the state, the state um, 911 operators, they ask us what it is, we explain what it is, they say, okay, well, I guess that's, and then they figure out where they're going to, to send our call. That all takes minutes. Um, in this case, it would go immediately to the appropriate um, source. It saves time. It also saves money because it could be a statewide system that is immediate, electronic, has all of these advantages to it, um, and then each, therefore each municipality would no longer have to have their own equipment, would not have to maintain their own equipment. So it would save money for municipalities. When they save money, we save money on property taxes. And that's a good thing. Um, Vermont, Maine, Nevada already have statewide CAD systems, computer-assisted dispatch systems, and they have realized a, a, an enormous amount of, of savings. Um, it's hard for me to to estimate that for Rhode Island, each state is different. Each state has different number of people, roads, and calls. But um, because you buy the system up front, the state buys it, 
um, there's lower costs for it. And um, because it's a statewide system, it only needs to be upgraded every five years instead of at the municipal level every three years, I believe it is. Um, response time is, is better. Our safety to our first responders is better. I know I get a lot of um, um, questions by people of why does an ambulance go out followed by an engine. This actually could cut down on that because you could uh, get specific details about the call before the firefighter leaves the station. So you could find out what, what the problem is and you could also ask how much does the patient weigh? Because a lot of times an extra person goes along because they need the extra muscle to get them up out of the basement or something if they're a very heavy person. Um, you know, you'd know the, the medical history, the weight, the number of victims, the emergency type. Um, you can collect all of this stuff very, very quickly. Um, so it, it can really make our emergency dispatch, our emergency services so much more efficient safer for everybody, for our first responders, as well as for the patients themselves, and saves money. So when you save money, you also save property taxes. And um, we could use that money for this. And it wouldn't be the bait and switch it is now, right? We'd actually be using it for emergency services, for 911, and not just for whatever else we decide to spend it on. That's it. Thank you, Chairman.